Mountain Mitsubishi of Hickory Service Department has service times available now and walk-ins are always welcome. Time for your look at local sports. On WHKY News, I'm Jason Savage. We begin with American Legion baseball action from last night as we start winding down the regular season. Last night, Caldwell County Post 29 defeated Burke County Post 21 by the final of 17 to 4. Hickory Post 48 fell in a heartbreaker to Gastonia 6 to 5 in an extra inning, nine inning affair. Little Ryan Swimming continues showcasing their success outside of the pool as both the women's and men's teams were selected by the College Swimming and Diving Association of America as Scholar All-America teams. Now to qualify for this recognition, teams had to earn a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.0 during the spring 2024 semester. The LR women's team posted a team GPA of 3.73. That's good for a tie for eighth highest in all of Division II, while the men also tied for eighth, posting a 3.51 GPA. This marks the 14th straight spring the women have qualified for the Scala All-American team, while it's the fifth consecutive time for the men. Very impressive. Appalachian State news now. Appalachian State women's golf head coach Brittany Debuel has left her position to pursue other opportunities, as was announced by Appalachian State. Debuel recently completed her first season at the helm of the Mountaineers women's golf program after being named head coach just over a year ago, June 13, 2023. She came to the Mountaineers from Longwood University. App State will now conduct a national search for their next leader of the women's golf program. The Hickory Crawdads yesterday opened up their series against the Greenville Drive, falling 8-2 in South Carolina. Both of the Crawdads runs in the contest were solo home runs. Greenville opened up the scoring in the first inning. Drive had the first of three triples on the night that would end up scoring off of a sacrifice fly. However, Hickory would answer in the second inning. Sebastian Walcott hit his sixth home run of the season. This one to center field to tie the score at one all. Contest would remain 1-1 until the drive tacked on four more runs in the fifth, a single run in the seventh, and two more in the bottom of the eighth. Sealed it for the Greenville drive. In the top of the eighth inning, though, Luis Maes has hit a solo home run for Hickory. That shot to right field, his second round tripper of the season. With the loss, Hickory falls to 1-3 on the second half of the season, 29-41 and 41 overall. They will remain on the road against the Greenville Drive all this week. As always, you can find more details and the latest information by visiting our website, whky.com.